Yeah, I know it's been a little bit. That's why I'm getting for being sick, right? I know it's been a little bit. While. Can't do it, man. It's that time of year again. My throat's going. Everyone's sick around the house. So I gotta save my voice. So I'm gonna do a small review for you guys and play catch up on some editing for some other videos, yeah? Cool? First of all, let me have some Wu Ta. This is one of those cool mugs, by the way. The mighty mug, look. Not gonna tip over. Almost did. But not quite. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and uh, time for some architecture. One of you guys said, please do architecture. They're so small, too. I don't know why I don't do them. So this is Lego's architecture, Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum, 21035, 744 pieces. These are nice and small. In fact, I think Lego does them a little bit too small, but they're great for displays. If you're not into big sets, if you want to do something small with a lot of detail, or build something that feels very, very different, you guys should check out architecture, even if you're not into architecture. I'm not an architecturist. I just like to play with bricks. But putting this together was a lot of fun. Now pretend you're me and you're looking at this thing. What does it remind you of? Did you say toilet? Because yeah, it reminds me of a toilet seat, a glorified toilet seat. I know that's really wrong, but that's what I was thinking when I built it. Is it awesome? It sure is. It's really small, but it packs a lot of detail and punches in here, yeah? This was actually my Christmas gift from Ida. So thank you so much to Wifey for this. So let's take a look at it. It's really small, right? I mean, there's not much else to look at. It's all tiled there. I'm just kidding. It's so small, but it looks fantastic. I like the little taxis. I guess those are the taxis. This is New York City. I've never actually been to this place, but I have been to New York and I love it, that city. For a set like this, it has a lot of curves and that's actually really cool. I love this entrance where as you go in, it's got a little bit of depth. Actually, this whole thing, the height and the scaling and the way it kind of sticks out in some parts and others, it kind of makes it really stand out and I like it. I like the print there. Yeah, the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum. And we come here to the side, nice and round again, round the edges. And then we come around to the back where there's pieces. This one's actually pretty fun to put together and it's really different. Look how they put it together. They put it like that, see? So if you really want a different feel, or you want to take a break from something that you're so familiar with, try an architecture because for real, it's using so many different ways to build. It's actually pretty wild. Even this piece here, yeah, something like that. It's just really different. It's really unique. They could have done it very simple, but they had to go all out like that. And I thought that was really cool. These pieces right here come off really easy. That's what I'm talking about. You would think that being Lego and being perfect, these things would be like totally locked in. Did I do that right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. You know, I'm just wondering if I did it wrong this whole time. Uh, is it supposed to be down like that? No, I I'm pretty sure I did it right. Whew, scared myself there. And besides that being very loose, I gotta also mention back here where because it sticks up, there's a bit of a gap there. That's kind of unusual to see. Maybe they should have closed that off, but that's just me. And you got a smaller building here with a gray round piece, a little bit of the green splashed on top. Same for this one up here on the top. Check that out. It's like crosswalk. Good illusion. I like it. You know, that's it, man. This thing is so small. You know what? I'm just gonna read about this for the manual to you guys so you guys can sit back, grab a cup of coffee, see these beauty shots and see if you like it or not. And hey, we're gonna learn about this building. So here we go. The story of an iconic building. In June 1943, Frank Lloyd Wright was asked by Hela Ribe, that's a pretty cool name, the art advisor to Solomon R. Guggenheim to design a new building to house Guggenheim's four-year-old museum of non-objective painting. So he's a painter. The project would evolve into a complex struggle, pitting the architect against his clients, city officials, the art world, and the public opinion. It would take over 15 years 700 sketches and seven complete sets of drawings before Wright's vision would be realized and the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum would open its doors for the first time in 1959. By then, both Guggenheim and Wright had died. That is kind of sad. The good news is they have 700 versions of this. Lego, can you get a hands on 700 sketches of this? Then we have 700 Guggenheim Museums in your display. The location of the Guggenheim Museum on 5th Avenue between 88th and 89th Street is not accidental. Its proximity to Central Park was key, as close to nature as one can get in New York. The park affords relief from the noise and congestion of the city. We ain't done yet, man. Still a little bit more to go. Here we go. Come on, kitties. Use this for your homework. 
Nature not only provides the museum with a respite from New York's distraction, but also lends its inspiration. The Guggenheim Museum is an embodiment of Frank Lloyd Wright's attempt to utilize organic forms in architecture. But even as it embraced nature, Wright's design also expresses his unique take on modernistic architecture's rigid geometry. Rigid, rigid, rigid geometry. The building is a symphony of triangles, ovals, arcs, circles, and squares. That's the word I was looking for. A symphony of triangles and circles and squares. Took the words right out of my mouth. Wright dispensed with a conventional approach to museum design, which led visitors through a series of interconnected rooms. Instead, he whisked people to the top of the building via elevator and led them downward on a leisurely pace on the gentle slope of a continuous ramp. Don't you already stand in those lines in Disneyland like that, like a spiral over and over and over? The open rotunda afforded viewers the unique possibility of seeing several bays of work on a different level simultaneously. The building itself has often been called the most important piece of art in the Guggenheim collection. There you go. They have like five more pages, which I'm not gonna read through this thing. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. What do you guys think? They even have the taxis in the photos. That's pretty good. Here's another photo. This one looks more cinematic. Maybe I can apply a little bit of cinema look to this right now, right here. Kind of match it the same. All right, you guys, it's time for dimensions. Break out your 32 by 32 base plates. And let's put this down. Of course, you know this is miniature, but we can kind of gauge it from here. By width, it is 18 studs. And by length, put this here, push it back a little bit. It is 24 studs by length. So there you go. You can probably put this and maybe one more architecture set, a smaller one here on one base plate or possibly another one here. So take out your one by four bricks, stack them up along with me. That is about 12 bricks in height. It is right about there. If I, a little bit over, if I push it here like that, if I put it on the first plate there, you can see it's just shy of that. Yeah, it's almost there. So there you go. Once again, your dimensions. Go measure your space. So I'm sure you're all wondering, is there anything on the inside? Just take a look. So we're gonna take this piece off, like that. This one off here, like that. Take this lid off, pull it there, and, oh. See, if this was bigger, right? You know what I'm saying? You could have had some figures walking around in that little spiral and have it inside there and made it your own. You know, maybe you can mock this yourself and make it 4,000 pieces, 6,000 pieces and make a giant size one, yeah? And I'll buy it from you. So there you guys go, that's Solomon Art Guggenheim Museum. It's actually really cool, just like small little display, put it on your desk. You don't have to worry about having something huge on your shelf. It's really cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. I'll do more Lego architecture. They're really fast to put out and you actually have no excuse. I should be putting the other ones out. Maybe I'll do the other ones later. All right, you guys, until next time, break me out. Even if it drops, I bet you it's gonna stay in one piece. Should I do a drop test like that? Look, see? Even if I accidentally knock it over like that. It's like a piece of brick. It's pretty good, yeah? Just one thing fell off. That's easy to put back on. Wow, Scotty, this thing looks gorgeous, but it's pretty small. We can't go inside. Hey, what are we doing here anyway? Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be here, man. But yeah, that does look really cool. I think Scotty's somewhere in the room setting up for our next video. Where is Big Scotty? Big Scotty, he left us here. What are you two doing? Get back over here, you're on the wrong set. I'm setting you guys up for the other scene, come on. We gotta go save those campers, man. Yes, 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 another adventure. Let's go. Guys, I need to use the toilet really bad. Is there one around here? Hey, you're the Pacific Rim bot. Awesome, man. Hey, Scotty, how come you haven't reviewed him yet? I promise you guys I'll get to him. Just give me some time. Oh, I really need to move the toilet so bad. Well, you know, that thing kind of looks like a toilet seat. I can't hold it any longer. Okay, I'm gonna use it. Here it goes. Oh, 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 oh. That is so disgusting, Scotty. I can't watch this. You know what? I ain't even mad, bro. That is terrible toilet humor. Oh, I you know, the robot don't really poop. You know, when are you gonna review me, man? One of these days I will. And you guys, I need you to. Come on, man. And I gotta clean that thing up so we can go do some shots for it. All right, you guys, see you later.